Hey guys, Tubal here. Today we're going to walk you through how to beat the Saving Transylvania event, at least the part one. This one was out a couple years ago, so I do know how to play it. I know the strategy you should be employing, and we'll take you through it step by step here. So basically what's going on here, you're in the ships. Uh, you can play a destroyer, cruiser, battleship, whatever you want. I got cruiser in this instance. And then there's the mothership, Transylvania, with the circle around it. Now the circle around it is kind of the most important thing. Uh, if we're going for five stars at least. Because you can see there the second requirement. Transylvania has to keep moving. It'll only keep moving as long as one person or more on your team is in the circle around the ship. Now it's pretty easy to get in the circle when it's not moving. But the ship will change speed and heading, course, whatever else uh, throughout the match. And it's incumbent upon you as someone who knows how difficult staying in the circle is. You know it because I just told you. Uh, then you should just basically dedicate yourself to staying in the circle. That's why I like playing the cruiser here personally, uh, where you can be effective being right by the ship. And we can just really focus on doing our best to keep the uh, ship in the circle. We're going to see a couple instances in this match, though, just how difficult it can be. But take my advice. Uh, if you're going to play the solo, especially, I'd probably play the cruiser and I would just staple yourself next to this thing. Just pretend you're a battleship in randoms and you just clump up by all your teammates and you'll get the drift. So what we're doing is the cruiser primarily engaging the other ships, setting them on fire, dealing raw damage. Battleships primarily want to focus on the catapults first and foremost. They got the better range, they got the punching power to take them out quickly. We'll pepper them a little bit here and there to start but as I'm remembering how to play we're going to mainly just focus on the ships. Destroyers Torps come out very rapidly, just keep spitting them out on reload, and move into positions where you can scout, because you can actually move forward and spot these guys. The quicker we can spot the red ships, the earlier we can engage them, and you want to engage them and sink them at range. All right, When they're at range, they don't really do much to you at all. When they can become problematic is when they get close to your ships. Now, one of the uh, requirements is to preserve at least half of the health of the mothership, and you can see we're almost <laughs> blowing the uh, circle thing right here, taking our eye off the prize. And that's what I'm talking about. You always got to be focusing on that more than anything else that's going on. You know, keep an eye on where that ship is. Zoom out every shot, okay? If you're a newer player, you're constantly zoomed in whenever you're shooting at something. That's going to cost you if you're trying to stay in the circle here. Not going to work. You got to basically shoot and then zoom out every time, which is how you should be playing the game anyways so it'll give you much more game awareness situational awareness but extremely important here because if we're not constantly keeping an eye on this mothership it will elude us okay so we would probably even want to be on the uh, right hand side of the mothership just to make sure that uh, we can shoot around it and keep these guys engaged so take my advice that is the most important thing that is the most difficult thing and we'll continue to see just how tricky it can be. Some of these catapults are in weird spots. You got to go around the islands before you can actually get access to them. You want to take them out as quickly as possible. So if you're playing as the battleships, go ahead and shoot them as soon as they're in range and you get a clear shot. Because they can, if they do hit you, they will actually hit you quite hard. Uh, so <laughs> those are quite dangerous. Cruisers, like I say, mainly pepper these ships. We'll see kind of trade it off as we engage groups. You can start set these fires. I can't remember off the top of my head what the damage control situation is on these, but you can switch off shooting ships, get multiple ships set on fire, and then focus on whatever the ones your teammates are engaging, whichever one's low. Just get the ships off as quick as possible. You don't want them dealing any of the damage to the ship, the mother ship, because, you know, if it if they land a couple good whacks, or, you know, they soften up the mother ship, and then Rasputin comes at the end, whacks it around, then you can lose the requirement that way. So just get them off as quick as possible. Um, really be focused on killing ships. Here's kind of the main mistake our team makes here. The smoke, uh, the guy, if he wants to smoke, fine, but be in a position to spot because now these ships are going to get really close to us. They're going to come around here, and I think they pop up at about 3, 4 kilometers, which is kind of in the danger zone. They'll get more accurate. They'll get more dangerous. And if they land some decent shots on this thing, we're already, you know, about 20% down, give or take. So, got to take these out as quick as possible. Luckily, the destroyer is going to <laughs> suicide rush these guys and hit them with the torps. So, uh, you know, that'll help pepper them up a little bit here. The torps don't look like they're massive damage uh, when they land, but they do reload very quickly. So, 
And like I said earlier, if you're playing the destroyer, just keep those puppies coming out on reload whenever you got a target, just get them out there. And especially late in the game. We'll talk about the strategy late in the game here as we get closer to the portal. How I would take that fight, but the destroyer, you gotta be for sure dealing a lot of damage in that fight as well. So you can see we're doing pretty good here. We got seven out of twelve. There's gonna be one more group of three. And then the final boss Rasputin will spawn with two extra minions on his side, kind of like of a boss fight in Zelda. You know, he's just, he'd have the main boss with a couple other critters flying around him, and uh, a couple more catapults as well. It looks like about five more. So we're doing all right. Haven't left the circle yet. Like I said, that's the thing I'm mainly trying to focus on here. And here we're going to go ahead and engage these ships. Now, the the mothership, the Transylvania will alter its route every time, so uh, you, if it you, takes multiple attempts to beat this for you, don't be thinking, okay, well, this is the way it went. Let, you know, there's a big island in the middle. Sometimes they'll go south, sometimes they'll go north. How the enemies spawn, I think, is random as well, if I remember. Uh, so don't get too comfortable just because something happened last time. It doesn't mean it's going to happen the same exact way every time. Now these ships are getting a little bit close here. I don't know what's the teammates are focusing on but need to get these guys off the board you can see once they get in there the secondary start going off and they can cause some problems so we need to be combining our firepower here taking them out sending the shots down we'll get decent damage here i think we'll wind up with about 150 60 damage or something like that in this game which is all right and the rewards pretty decent in terms of credits and stuff like that but i think if you play this with randoms you've really got to be focused on mainly staying in the circle if you play it with division mates, then probably divvy up the responsibilities. Get a guy in the battleship, say, all right, you're the catapult master. Whoever's the cruiser, once again, I'd recommend probably being in the circle and then shooting the ships and then destroyer spotting slash torping. And the destroyer might need to help out with the circle from time to time. But I would just pick one person to really be Johnny on the spot with it. Uh, probably who's, you know... An experienced player who's good at maneuvering and game awareness, everything like that. You can see we're constantly just taking a look at the ship. Where is it heading? What sort of speeds it going to be doing? The line is creeping up here. And, you know, you got to really be constantly focusing on it because, like I said, these ships, they're fairly maneuverable, but they don't necessarily pull up to a full speed uh, right off the bat. You know, it takes a couple seconds to get revved up. Anyway, we've killed those final ships that'll be spawning, and we got a couple more catapults. And then, as we get closer to the gates of hell over here, then we're going to spawn in the boss fight. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and take this catapult out as quick as possible. Hopefully one of the battleships will whack it. And now we're getting detected. And I think that means the uh, main, well, I guess the catapult can technically spot us. Looks like our detection is actually longer than our... Uh, firing range on these ships so I guess this catapult spots us there's the Rasputin and a couple of minions on each side so my recommendation uh, you got to do this as quick as possible I would go ahead and get rid of the two side ships because you know you got to do it anyways uh, and you'll see we're just gonna switch off shooting them setting them on fire trying to figure out which side of this thing I should be on uh, we, I do want to keep really close proximity to them here because this fight can get a little chaotic and if you lose track of the ship for even a few seconds uh, I can end up costing you so uh, we'll see that here in a moment and just how difficult that can be this one's kind of interesting here this Rasputin ends up ramming this guy looks like a regular uh, regular random match in another aspect here and he's just gonna keep pushing them so at this point in time I'm like all right we better kill this other guy because that the right hand minion is actually helping us out by slowing down the Rasputin and kind of goofing up his AI tracking. Hoping the uh, destroyer will finish him and there he goes. And now we'll go ahead and try and kill the other minion, keep his dead body in play there, slow down the Rasputin and hope that this destroyer can just hammer him with the torps because once one minion's down and then the other one's getting low, uh, the destroyer, I would just go ahead and slam that guy over and over with the torps as quick as possible. The longer the Rasputin's alive, especially with the secondaries going off, like your Transylvania will be getting closer and closer to him, and then it'll start taking a lot of damage. So at this point in time, we got to keep hammering it here, and I'm not really too worried about my health. I don't even know if we've taken any damage this whole time, but once again, we're in the circle, so we got that repair going on. 
trying to spread out the fires here. Looks like we set one and then he put it out and then we set it back and then we want to just put them all over the ship. You know, it's just kind of like burning down a battleship in the regular mode. You want to keep uh, spreading the fires out. And here we're uh, not paying enough attention and look, here's what I'm talking about. We got the engine fully engaged here, but just for half a split second, our the middle of the ship must barely have gotten out of the uh, circle there and the fifth star is lost so even though you know we played it pretty well i thought i guess we got 180 damage uh kept the ship alive kept most of his health we did lose one teammate but we got him to the end but just my minor you know i i didn't even really think i left the circle there but it was pretty close but that's how difficult that is okay so even though you know this wasn't a perfect run we didn't get the five stars on this. Now, when we go back to the game menu, I gotta wait half an hour to play the cruiser again, which is the only one I'd want to use. And I got other ships to cover for you today. I got plenty to do, so I figured this is good enough. You can get the idea, you get the strategy, you get the tactics, and you can see just how difficult keeping in that circle is. So if you want the five stars, which is probably what you're gonna be going for to get the free ship, I would just recommend being staple yourself to this guy. <laughs> You know, and don't let them out of your sights. Because uh, that's going to be the most difficult thing. I remember playing it back a couple years ago, and we were constantly getting followed up by uh, running out of the circle. So anyway, that's a look at the Saving Transylvania event. Hopefully that helps you guys out in your endeavors. Good luck out there, and stay tuned for the rest of the week. We'll be coming up. And in the comments, if you want to enter for some crates, we'll start the giveaways here. Put your gamer tag and system that you play on. Spell that perfectly, and we'll put you in for an entry there. All right, peace.